Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Command Block tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to build a working movie theater. Now, I'm not going to show you how to build the theater itself. I'm just going to show you how to build a working movie. Now, when I click this button right here, my movie will start playing. But guys, I'm going to give you a little heads up. This thing is absolutely boring when you are building it. You're physically building this thing just for the end goal of actually getting it done because once it's done it's just absolutely amazing kind of reminds me of when i did my note block tutorials it wasn't really fun putting all the note blocks down but once you heard it at the end it was really amazing so we're gonna click this button watch my little short movie that took me like two hours to make and then we'll get right into the tutorial but guys i can't wait to see some crazy things you guys can make with this thing so here we go here's my movie And there you guys have it. There is my movie for my movie theater. Of course, you can make these things a lot longer. You can make these things a lot taller as well, depending on what you need to make for your movie. Maybe you want to make a little stick figure guy dancing or something like that. So we're just basically going to be using, yet again, the cloning command. So here is my entire movie that we just watched. Each command block is basically like a frame, one frame for each portion of your movie for your movie theater so i have i think here uh 20 about 60 i think i have about 60 going on right here just to make that short little tiny movie that i did but it's actually a lot of fun once it's done like i said it's a lot it's really boring when you're building it but once you get it all done it's pretty amazing and you can make some crazy things with it and like i said you can make this thing a lot taller if you want depending on how big you need it to be to make whatever you want to move. Like I said, if you want to make some little stick figure dude walking or dancing or something like that, of course, you're going to need a little bit bigger of a movie. So let's get right into this tutorial, guys. All it is is the cloning command. All right, guys. So first things first, before we get started on our command block tutorial, what we're going to have to first do is give ourselves a command block. So go into, press right on your D-pad and just type in give space and then put at self and then go ahead and type in command block, command underscore block and give yourself a command block. There we go. And then like always, I always say go to your settings, go over to game and go down and then turn on show coordinates. This will make your life a thousand times easier. Next up, what we're going to do is I would say start off by building your theater first, because obviously you kind of want to get a feel of how big you want your uh, movie to be. So, you know, it depends on how big your theater is. If you need a big movie, guys, and it, it needs a lot of space to move some things around, yours is obviously going to be a lot bigger than mine. So, you know, what? actually build the first frame of your movie, depending on what it's going to be, and then build your theater around that frame, basically. So for my tutorial, I'm just going to make a quick moving sky. Nothing crazy. Once you get the feel of how you do this, you guys going to you guys are going to make some crazy things. You're going to make some crazy things once you get the feel of how this whole thing works. So, like I said, it depends on how big you need it to be. You can like I said, you can make it as big as you really want to. I wouldn't go too crazy high. But uh, it depends on how big you want your theater to be, too. So let's say I want it to be one, two, three. Let's make it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's keep it even 12 blocks long. And then I'm just going to make a sky with blue blocks. And let's say I want to make that go up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight eight so let's go 12 and eight always make it kind of uh always make it longer vertical than horizontal because that's usually how movie theaters are usually the screen is a little bit longer vertical than it is horizontal so let's go up uh you know maybe i'll make it only seven i might make it only seven just to keep it on that whole entire you know longer vertical side so this is going to be let's say this is my first frame right here for my movie theater so once you have your pretty much your first frame down all you have to do is find the coordinates of your first frame so we need to find the bottom left so just you know break out the two blocks go to your bottom left and like always i always say go onto your computer open up notepad look at your position at the top and then just write down your coordinates so mine is 226 for negative 133 so that's going to be my first coordinate for my first frame and the good thing about doing this movie theater is it's actually really easy to make each individual frame it, it goes a lot faster when i show i'll show you what you have to do so next up we're going to go up to the top right break out this one block and then we're just going to get this coordinate as well and this will be in the entire position of this one frame so two three seven ten negative 133 so there is my first frame 
of my movie. Now to make this thing go a lot faster, so we don't you know have to keep placing down another frame, another frame, another frame, because you know building it like this, guys, building it over and over again like this is just gonna take absolutely forever. So what I like to do is I like to press right on my D-pad on my console, and then what we're gonna do is go ahead and put a forward slash clone like that, and then we're gonna take the coordinates we just got right there for that first frame. So mine's two twenty six for negative one thirty three, and then we're gonna put two. 37 10 negative 133 so that was my first coordinate of my first frame and then basically what we're going to do is drop it down one so where it says clone the first coordinate where it says 226 4 negative 133 we're just going to drop the negative 133 down to a 132 or if you're going another way you might have to bring it up one but basically you only have to raise that one coordinate up one or down one for to clone it in just to clone it in so now what we're going to write is 226, 4, negative 132. And then when I press enter, it will now clone that entire frame one block away from it. So see, we just put in that entire new frame right off it. Now I can go ahead and change it to a few other things. So let's say I want a cloud rolling in over here from this side. So it's going to start off on the next frame like that. We're going to just remove one block. And then what we're going to do is basically clone this one now. So all you have to do now is go back over, press right on your D-pad, open it up, and then just press up like so. And then we can pull out our old. And now this is just going to get easier and easier to clone things in, guys. Because now all you have to do is just keep dropping it down by one to get the next frame in. So now we want to, let's say we want to clone this next frame right here. And then, you know, just move it and keep cloning and cloning. All you have to do now is just press right on our D-pad again press up this time and as you can see it has my one I just cloned in and now what we're going to do is drop every single last number to each coordinate down by one so where it says you know 226 let's bring this all the way over actually so where it says right here 226 4 negative 133 that's one coordinate so I'm going to drop that down to 132 then it says 237 10 negative 133 I'm going to drop that 133 down to a two because I'm just dropping it down by one and I'm going to drop the last one down by one as well and what that will do is boom put in another frame for our movie so now we have one two three frames for our movie and now we can move this cloud over again let's say i want to make my cloud two blocks long so now my cloud's moving in towards the left and then i'm maybe you know what maybe i'll add in the sun as well boom there's the sun rolling in now as well so now we have to do it is again press right on our d-pad press up and then drop those down by one again so the last one's zero now go over here where it's two drop this down by one Go over here drop this down by one press enter and boom we have the coordinate again so now i want to move my sun over a block move this over a block let's move my cloud in over here maybe my cloud's going to end right there and a new cloud's going to come in right over here at the bottom now we're going to have two clouds coming in on our screen and then yet again enter press up drop this one down by one so now it's going to be 229 go over drop this one down by one so zero and drop this one down by one so zero press enter boom we have another frame so we're going to place in our sun over one more block break this put our sky in here place our cloud over here break that bring this cloud in by one maybe i want to bring it up one as well so now i have a whole entire cloud coming in so there is pretty much four frames right there one two three four one two three four five i got five frames right there guys so now i'm going to show you pretty much how you put it into your uh command block to clone it in to a specific spot on your map so first what you're going to need to do is obviously you need to know the dimensions of your actual movie because like i said you can make this thing a lot bigger you know you can go let's say i wanted to bring it all the way up here or something like that it depends on how big you want this thing to be what you're moving on it what you want to be on what you want to have on the screen so pretty much just build it build build it into a movie theater that's big enough for you so this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 12 by 7 spacing. So I wanted to go into a 12 by 7 spacing. So I'm going to come. Let's say I want my movie to go over here. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13 14 because i wanted to go inside of it so i have to come out two blocks more because i wanted to go inside of this area right here so now i'm gonna have to bring it up nine blocks one two three four five six seven eight nine wrap this rack back over to here and then just bring it right up and now my frame should fit perfectly right inside of this black square 
for my movie. So now what I'm going to do is get the coordinate of my black square by coming to the bottom left. And we're going to write down this coordinate now for our position. So let's go into our notepad again. Make sure you are putting spaces between these two so you don't accidentally, um, you know, get them messed up. So there we go. Mine is just 243, 5, negative 1, 0, and 7. So now when I take my first command block in, when I take my first command block, let's say I'm going to put my commands. Usually I like to say keep your command blocks like right behind the movie itself. So it just makes things easier for you. So let's let's start it off right here. Let's say my movie starts off right here. And this is going to be the first frame right back over there, which was the first position that we wrote down. And then, like I said, all we're doing is just dropping it by one each time we go into a new frame. So basically, I'm going to go in my command block. I'm going to type in clone. Now, if you're on the PC, now I do mine on the Better Together update, or I think it's called Bedrock Edition. I forget. Uh, this one only works for, you know, Pocket Edition, Windows 10, and Xbox One. Now on the PC, just all you need to know is the cloning command, guys. All you need is the cloning command for this. So if you know the cloning command on the PC, yours is obviously going to be different. Just do it the same way I'm doing, but just use your command from the PC. So mine is like this on uh, Xbox One's Better Together. So I'm going to put in clone, and then I'm going to put in my first coordinate that I wrote down ever, 226, 4, negative 1, 33, 2, 37, 10 negative 133 and then i'm going to put in the coordinate that i just got now so 2 43 5 negative 1 0 7 and now what that will do is clone my first frame that's back there to right here so if i take out a button let me go ahead and take out a button real quick and i send power to this command block right here boop and as you can see my first frame is now inside my movie theater and now basically what you want to do for splitting up all your frames you can make your frames go much faster depending on the situation maybe you want things to get a little tense and speed up but i normally like to just have one repeater between them and set it to four ticks delay i feel like that's a perfect tick delay for each individual frame for your movie to work right look good while it's moving and all that good stuff so next up what we're going to do is just put in our second frame now so right in front of this repeater we're going to go into our command block and now what we're going to do is when we put in our first, when we put in our coordinate command, when we put in our coordinate command, we're just going to drop that down by one and we do not change the last coordinate because it's always going to be at the end. So basically what we're going to do now is my first coordinate was two. So clone, my first coordinate was 226, four, negative 133. However, since I'm going to my next frame, I'm just going to drop that down by one. So it's like the same thing we were doing over there when we cloned them in to make the next frame, the next frame, the next frame. We're just going to drop these guys down by one. Very, very simple. So then my next one's 237, 10, and then it was negative 133. However, I'm going to drop it down by one. And then the last coordinate where we're actually cloning it to, we don't have to do anything with it. Just keep putting in the same one over and over again. So mine was 243, 5, negative 107. So now I'll have two frames go off. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and get, let me just put a repeater here. Why not? Boop. So now when I click this button, boop, boop, as you can see, my cloud started coming into place. So I'm gonna go ahead and do one more with you guys and then I'm gonna speed through my other frames and then I might add a few more, but guys, that's it. I mean, that's the entire movie theater. And then I could show you guys how to set up the button so it's on the inside of your movie theater so you don't have to have redstone going to it. But basically, we're just gonna do the same thing again. So remember, we're gonna drop it down by one from here. So my last one was negative 132. It's not gonna be negative 131. And it said, you know, it just keeps dropping down by one. Now, um, it depends on which way you're going though because yours might be going up by one though. So it's either gonna go always up by one or it's always going to go down by one. Very, very simple. So we're going to go right in here. So my last one was negative 132. We have to remember that. So my next one's going to be negative 131. So clone, put in my coordinate, 226, 4. My last one was negative 132. So now it's going to be negative 131. 237, 10, negative 131. And then put in my final coordinate, which is always the same because we're just cloning it to it right there. So that's going to be the third one. So I think I did five frames before, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Yep. So I'm going to go ahead and finish off the next two and then we can see it moving. So all right, guys, and I'm back and I just went ahead and quickly put in my last two commands. So we left off at negative 131. And as you can see, I just went to negative 130 now. And then it went to negative 129. So now if I click this button, it should go through five of my frames. So click this button right here and boop, one, two, three, four, five. And there you guys have it. It's that easy to build, guys. Nothing crazy to it. As you can see, I turned in all of these frames right here. Each one right here. I just kept putting them over more, over more, though, because it took up a lot of space. You can also stack them on top of each other if you want to do that as well. But as you can see, I just each one of these, each command block right here activates just one of these frames. That's all it does. Same thing over and over again. Nothing crazy to it. I'm sure everyone could do this. Uh, 
and I can't wait to see uh, if you guys do follow me on Twitter. I would love to see if you can record it. If any of you make a working movie, because there's just so many things you could do with this. <laughs> you can make so many different movies with this thing. It would be insane. And now if you also want to end it off on a black screen, because if you remember my movie ended on a black screen, all I did was just add in a fill command right at the end of it with the coordinates I have for my actual theater itself. So let's say you're done. You finished your entire movie. Uh, you built a, a, a thousand frames and made a huge, huge movie that went zigzag with all your command blocks. You should have hopefully enough room to do this because I would recommend doing this maybe on Flatlands if you are going to build a working movie theater. But let's say you want to end it off and go to back to a black screen uh, for the end portion of the video. So let's say right here at the end, all you're going to do is just do one more repeater, place in a command block. Then you're going to go into that command block and instead of putting clone this time, you're going to put fill. And then you're going to put the coordinate in for your actual movie theater itself. So the first coordinate was 243, 5 negative one zero one zero seven so now we're going to need the other coordinate of the movie theater and that's going to be this top one right here because we got the bottom left one if you remember we got the bottom left one right here which is filling out our frame so now all we have to do is get this top corner right here so all we have to do is just break these blocks right here stand right here go back over to our notepad and just type in those coordinates as well so two five four eleven negative one zero seven you would only need this for the end this is only if people want you know a little black screen at the end so it turns off the theater itself so now all we have to do is go back over here go into where it's fill and then put in that second coordinate we just got so mine was 254 11 negative 107 and then for black concrete all you have to do is type in concrete and then put in 15 space 15 and that will fill in the last frame with black so i will turn off the movie once it's done so now when i click this button I see it'll start moving the sky and then boop it will turn off the movie once it's over that's only at the end of your, your movie once you're done doing all the frames that's it it'll just end the movie just like that so now what you want to do is let's say you want to set up a button somewhere else somewhere in the movie theater maybe you want to set it up in the actual projector room if you actually build a projector room and all that maybe you want to set up the button in there so you could turn on and off your movie theater but you don't want to just have redstone going all over the place you want a command that just turns it on and off for you so that is also very simple to do all you have to do is come back to the beginning where we started it with our button stand right on that block and then write down this coordinate as well this is for our turning on and off coordinate so you know space it on your notepad so you don't get anything mixed together so mine's 244 negative 109 so we're going to need that coordinate right there and now what we're going to do is face this way place a repeater going that way and keep that air block right there and then we're going to put that on two ticks place a command block here go inside this command block and then type out this command fill space put in that new coordinate we just got 244 negative 109 was mine i'm going to write it one more time 244 negative 109 and then space and we're going to put air that will turn it off right away once we click the button to turn it on then what we're going to do is go somewhere inside our movie theater so in here this is somewhere inside your movie theater maybe you're going to have stairs going up like i did so it actually looks like a, a seating area for your movie theater but let's say I want the button to go over here, whatever. It's just somewhere inside your movie theater you want it to go. So I, what I want to do is I'm going to place a command block. And of course, you're going to want to hide this command block. You don't want anyone to see this command block. So let's go ahead and put it right down into the ground like that. Next up, you're going to go inside your command block. And you're going to type in fill, space, put in that coordinate we just wrote down. 244, negative 109. Type it again. 244, negative 109. And then you're going to go ahead and put in redstone underscore block and what that will do it will spawn a redstone block in the coordinate we just wrote down and then the other one we put down will turn it back to an air block so it turns it off right away so now all we have to do is just place a button into this command block but we still don't want to see it so let's go ahead and put just a block right above it like that place our button here so now when i click my button over here boop as you can see my movie started playing from in here because when i click the button a redstone block comes out over there boop and then it goes away right away because this command block will turn it to air so that's how you turn it on and off from the inside so like i said guys it's very simple very simple you know you just have to keep copying the frame over and over again i wouldn't recommend doing a command block every time you do a frame I, what i did was is i actually wrote out my whole movie i did the entire movie every single frame and then i did my command blocks because it's so easy all you have to do is just drop it by one every single time all right guys and one more thing so let's say you're building a huge movie right and it, let's say you went 20 blocks that way it, just to give you an idea that over there is 20 blocks that over there from that side to that side is 20 blocks so you don't want to go too crazy far because then it's going to be taking up a lot of space in your world. So maybe you want to do like I did and uh, just start moving your frames over. So let's say that was the first frames right there. And then this is the second row of frames. And then this was the third row of frames for the end of the movie. 
So basically what you want to do is just move it over to the side of it right over here because you want 20 blocks out and now you want to do another 20 blocks and then another 20 blocks and then maybe you even want to stack them on top of each other once you get the hang of this. So once you get the hang of it, guys, it's so easy. You can fly right through it all. So I want to move it, my movie now over to this corner right here. So basically what I want you to do now is write out that new coordinate, the 238.4, negative 133. Well, yours is going to be different, but I'm going to go ahead and write mine out. All right, guys, I wrote down my new coordinate. And then all you have to do is find the coordinates of your last frame. So to find your coordinates of your last frame, all you have to do is come right over here to this corner where it says 226, 4, 129. So, you know, just write down this new coordinate just so you don't forget it. 226, 4, negative 129. Of course, yours is going to be different. Just write it out make it easy on you but once you get the hang of it guys using the deep d-pad and pushing up and just moving up every single time just to push over the frames you're gonna get you're gonna fly through these things you're gonna fly right through them if you know exactly what you want to build and then all we need is uh, this next one as well 237 10 negative 129 so basically what we're going to do is now that we have all three of those new coordinates all we have to do is go into our d-bed do the same thing we've been doing slash clone put in our new coordinates 226 4 negative 129 237 10 negative 129 and then put in the last coordinate which is going to be the one we cloned it to 238 4 negative 133 it should always be the la the last coordinate should always be the spot you're cloning it to so we're going to press enter and boop and as you can see my frame is now over here instead and now all we have to do you know just move it over one like this so the sun's now going to be here the clouds now going to be here Gonna put some blocks here and we're gonna move this cloud over as well this cloud's gonna go up over let's say we want to make this cloud a little bit bigger like that so boom that cloud gets bigger and let's say we want to add another cloud up here rolling in along with the sun all right so now you're probably wondering well now what do i do now that it's over here i can't really follow the command blocks for over here guys very simple all you have to do is just take the first command that we put down for over here in this corner if you remember mine was a negative mine was 238 4 negative 133 i don't have to really dig down here but it, it was this one right here this bottom coordinate see 238 4 negative 133 that's where we cloned it to so you're going to need that first coordinate so just remember that for yourself and then we just need the top right coordinate guys come up to the top right coordinate break the first block and then just write down that one right there alongside the other one so mine was the first coordinate was 238 4 negative 133 then the second coordinate is now going to be 249 10 negative 133 so then all i have to do now is go back over to my command blocks i'm let me go ahead and get rid of the black screen one first the fill black concrete one and put in my new frame boop right there so now i'm gonna oop, i didn't put that back in there so now all i'm gonna do is just put in those two new coordinates and then just the same corner here because it's still getting it's just getting cloned to this one over here guys it's just getting cloned to this one over here so i'm just gonna put in my new coordinate so mine's clone 238 4 negative 133 and then 249 10 negative 133 and then we're cloning it to that same spot over and over again guys that one never changes so where i'm cloning it to is always going to be 243 5 negative 107 that that one never changes at the end as you can see all the other ones are still 243 5 negative 107 243 5 that one never changes this is the only one that changed because we then moved our frame over to the right so now if i click my button over here you'll see that it'll still play that last frame right there so it should actually end up on that frame so all the way over and boop as you can see it ended up on that frame very simple guys and now all we have to do is just make a new set of cloning commands for this next row so basically we're just going to do the same thing we did before we're just going to clone forward slash clone and then put in our new coordinate for the frame right in front of me that frame right in front of me we're going to put in that new coordinate so mine was 238 4 negative 133 then it was 249 10 negative 133 then all we do is take the first coordinate, 238, 4, negative 133, and just drop it by 1. So negative 132, and then just press enter. Boop, and there we go. There's the next frame. So now all you do, like like always, you got to bring it over 1. Bring everything over by 1. Whatever you're moving, bring. make sure you bring it over to change up your new frame. So let's say we're bringing this guy over here now. There we go. Boop, boop. And did I start up a new cloud over here? No, I didn't. Let's start up another new cloud right up there. So then once we have this new set of frames, just come back over here, put another command block in. So four ticks, command block. And remember, our last one was negative 133. So all we have to do is drop it by one to negative 132. That's all we're doing. We're just dropping that one down by one. So clone, put in our coordinate to 38, 4, negative 133. But we're dropping it by one now. So negative 132. And then 249. 
10, negative 132. And then put in the same coordinate as always, 2, 43, 5, negative 107, because that's where we're cloning it to. And boom, we now have our next frame in there. So I'll go ahead and show you it working. So come over here, click the button, and now it should move over to that last frame right there. And guys, that's how you do it. That's how you build a working movie theater. All right, guys, so basically as a recap, before I end off this video, I would just want to pretty much say, like I said at the beginning, this is super boring. This is super boring to build. This is terrible. It's boring. It's very boring to build, but you're pretty much just doing it for the payoff because once it's all said and done, guys, like right here, this was so boring to build. This took me like two hours to build, guys, because I, I it was my first time actually doing it and making it work. I could probably do it a lot faster now, but you're just doing it for the payoff because the whole thing is very, very boring. But guys, once you get done doing it, you get something like this, and that's just cool. You get to make a little movie inside your Minecraft world. You can do something so much better than this. I just made a little flower that grows and then kills you. <laughs> it got it got really evil at the end, but this was my movie. It took me about two hours to do, and I absolutely love it. So, guys, <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And also, make sure to subscribe if you have not to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.